Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to talk about the U.S. House of Representatives and the attempt to find a Speaker of the House, something that, as of yet, has still not happened. There are a bunch of options that people are talking about, and we're going to run through them. But we're going to run through them, and we're going to look at them kind of from the Republican Party's side for a moment. Because the options that are out there, some of them have major pitfalls. And it's hard to see a clear path from where they're at to where they want to be within this election cycle. Okay, so option one, right now, Jordan. The party is trying to rally people behind Jordan. He has opposition. If a fraction of that opposition holds, he doesn't have the votes. The other thing is because of the opposition being sizable enough, even if he wins... He's McCarthy again. He, he doesn't really have the influence to lead the party because of all of this mess and how he would have came to power. He's not going to have that influence. Another option would be McCarthy coming back and just kind of resetting everything. It's an option, McCarthy has publicly signaled his support for Jordan, but some of McCarthy's supporters have been like, no, not doing it. And there are at least two that are McCarthy or bust. It's the only option they want to entertain right now. If he winds up back with the gavel, he's back, right back to where he started. Um... Again, leadership will be called into question because of all of this. So won't be able to actually lead the party, won't be able to exercise the power. Another one is somebody new, somebody that we haven't thought of yet. Somebody who maybe th throws out their hat today or tomorrow. Um I don't know anybody that actually could get the support, to be honest. After thinking about it, I don't know anybody that's going to be able to get the votes. Um, I'm sure there's a person out there, but I can't think of them. The Republican Party is that fractured at the moment. But let's say it happens. Some, some person that we haven't entertained yet. No matter what, their second choice. They're not going to have the ability to lead either. They're not going to have that, the power that normally comes with the speakership because they're not going to have the influence. And this person, my guess would be that it would have to be somebody that does the social media thing. And Jordan leans that way too. And that's one of those things where there's a lot of people in the party who, who like, this is how we have to do it. This is how we have to do it. And they're doing a lot of performative stuff. And it plays well in deep red areas, but they were going to get deep red areas anyway. It doesn't do well in areas that are contested. You would think that by now they would realize that social media clicks aren't actually a great electoral strategy, given the fact that it hasn't really worked well for them since like 2016. But it, it, it's an option. Another option would be the party itself looks at McHenry and just extends it. Makes him de facto, temporary, whatever, Speaker, maybe with a little bit of help from the Democratic Party because they'll probably need it. And then there's that. But again, no influence and, and no real power because the, 
the Republican Party is that divided. And then the last option would be a coalition of moderate Republicans, what passes for moderate Republicans, and centrist and corporate Dems. And them putting something together and coming up with some bipartisan candidate. There's that. Now, when that comes up, people think Jeffries. Jeffries is an option. It's not impossible because doesn't really need that many votes. But it seems, it seems less likely than something a little bit more deliberate. Um, the problem with that is, sure, it'll keep the government open. It'll allow basic functions to occur. But the Republican Party isn't going to like it because they're not going to be able to exercise any power. It's at this point that hopefully the Republican Party realizes they're not going to be able to exercise any power. You don't have options that lead to a House that can push a Republican agenda now. That was all blown out of the water. Um, it, it They don't have the votes. And now, because of all of the tensions that have arisen, there aren't many paths to get somebody to be Speaker that would even be able to move a Republican agenda. It's at this point that the Republican Party may have to acknowledge that just keeping things open is the best they can do for right now. And they have to wait until the next election cycle and hope that the hard right Republicans don't do so well in their election. That's about the only way at this point I can see them being able to correct the path the Republican Party is on. Because those far-right Republicans, they're going to keep doing what they've been doing as long as they're up there. There were a lot of people who said, you know, once that type of authoritarianism, Trumpism, whatever term they used, once it got into the Republican Party... It was going to be really hard to get it out, and it might cause a lot of discomfort along the way. This is the discomfort. At some point, they're going to have to acknowledge that. They're going to have to sit there and look over at the Senate and think, Lindsey Graham was right. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.